Shalom, family. This is Dr. Durr. I'd like to thank the Most High Yahuwah for you being here tonight on the Wake Up Yasharel channel. All praises to the Most High Yahuwah. He who breathes life, behold the nail hands. His son, Yahusha, Yahuwah is salvation. The Ruach HaKadosh to set up our spirit, the comforter, the one that leads and guides us into all truth. Tonight's lesson is going to be a strong delusion. A strong delusion. The scripture reference will be 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8 from the Sefer or the Sefer Bible. I like to, uh, want to say a few things here before we continue on in this presentation. Uh, remember that there is a revealing and an uncovering taking place throughout the whole world. The Bible talks about how Yah is revealing to the children of Yahshua who they are and waking them up. It's taking place now. There's many that's waking up. There's many that's not waking up. There's some that don't want to wake up. Uh, but Yah is coming to his people and revealing himself to his people. Uh, I also want to say to you, please be partaker of this truth. It's a good thing. It's a great thing. It's your awakening. He's getting his people up, getting you prepared to go back home, uh, to get go to the wilderness for three and a half years for your training, to get you prepared to be Hebrew Israelites the right way, and to cause us to walk into the holy city of Yashorel, of Jerusalem. Excuse me. It is more freeing to know, to know what? The truth. Than to continue a lie. It is more freeing to know the truth than to continue to walk in a lie. Be careful with condemnation without investigation. Jump to conclusion without researching what is true. So be careful with condemnation without investigation. Jumping to conclusion without researching what is true. Go after the truth. Find out if it's true or not. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you reject knowledge, I will also reject you. Now the scripture reads, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8, going through verse 10. And then shall the toilless, lawless one, in the King James, but in the safer is the toilless one, be revealed. The one does not keep in Torah. Whom Adonai Yahushua shall consume with the rug of his mouth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of our Satan. Somebody's coming after the working of our Satan. With all power, signs, and lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. This is a powerful a very impactful scripture or scriptures. These scriptures are powerful. You just, when you read it, reading it in Christianity, I saw something different. Reading with my eyes open to the uh, in, while in the awakening, I see something totally different with the eyes of my understanding now being enlightened by Yahuwah and his Ruach, HaKadosh. Now when the Bible says, and then shall that Torahless one be revealed whom Adonai Yahushua shall consume with the ruach of his mouth. Adonai Yahushua. Adonai Yahushua. That's talking about Yahuwah's son. His son, Yahushua. Not the one many are calling Jesus Christ. That's the name that the Catholic Church gave us. And we, as you see, as we go on down to the lesson tonight, it, that's going to be explained. So the Torahless one is someone that's coming to an anti-Mashiach, a Messiah, he don't, he's not keeping the Torah. When he's revealed, he's revealed to be a Torahless one. Now, that's kind of strong words because there's many out here today that's Torahless. They say that the law is done away with, the Torah is done away with. We don't need to keep that anymore. That's for the old days. It's not anymore. So that means you have not become Torahless because that's what the Mashiach and the apostles and the prophets taught from was the Torah. Now, I'm going to read this. Warning, there's a strong delusion coming for those who receive not the love of the truth. A strong delusion is coming. No, it's already here. 
And I'm going to show you later on in the presentation what that strong delusion is. And many of you, you're going to be shocked. And you may never talk to me again. You may never come back, but that's all right. I'd like to ask you if the Torah's lawless one, Anthony Mashiach, is going to be destroyed because of lawlessness, what about all those that said the Torah is done away? Aren't they going to be destroyed as well? Well, here we go tonight. We're going to look at Nimrod. Nimrod is all begins in Babylon. Everything came from Nimrod. You look at the very bottom, you say with Nimrod, Samaritus, and Tammuz. Nimrod is the son, his mother, Samarius. Uh, he married her, and Tammuz was his son. They had a son together. All these doctrines that you see on listed here, religion, doctrine of men, Lent, Thanksgiving, going across Trinity, New Year's, Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day, uh, Christmas tree, Evergreen, the title, Lord and Baal, Easter, the cross, uh, communion, Sunday worship, Worshipers of Mary, infant baptism, church, circa, uh, Good Friday. All this came from Nimrod, his mom, uh, through this son Tammuz. When you see them out there, the so-called uh, having a baby in a manger, uh, that the baby is Tammuz. And it's not so-called Mary and Joseph, but it's Nimrod and his mother. That's who the Catholic Church have outside the Vatican when they're celebrating that, that time frame. You go out there and look. Uh, they have it on the Internet. You can see it. But they're worshiping Nimrod, Samaris, and Talmud, Babylonian worship, and all the other uh, religions pretty much mixed in together. And they got all of us all over the world caught up in all this stuff. What did the Bible say in Revelation? That Lucifer has deceived the whole world. He has deceived the whole world. I mean, the whole world has been deceived. Now, that right there is a powerful statement. I'm thinking that. You know, while I was in Christianity, that I wasn't deceived. I was good to go, man. I wasn't deceived at all. I was good to go. I was strong. Now, what does uh, a strong delusion, what, what is the definition of a delusion? A belief or altered reality that is persistently held despite evidence or agreement to the contrary, generally in reference to a mental disorder. Delusion. You're delusional. Many of us think that uh, we were right with y'all in Christianity. Many of us thought we had it together. Many of us thought we were good to go serving the white Jesus, which was an erroneous Messiah. He's not white. He's a Hebrew Israelite. He's a Negro. The Bible gave you a description of him. Hair like wool. Feet like bronze. Not just in one place, one location, but in many descriptions throughout the Bible. Even in the book of Enoch, it said it. In the book of Daniel, it said he had hair like wool. So they had us, and they got us worshiping all these different things, Christmas and all these different things. I'm going to show you some things real quick. Let me get down here. Uh, look at what Christianity opposes. Everything that Yahuwah said would bring him honor, Christianity opposes. Now tell me if Christianity is of Yah. No, it's not of Yahuwah because that word Christianity is not Hebraic. It didn't come from the Hebrew. Christianity was put in by the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is the one that came up with the word Christianity, put it in the book, made us think that it came from Yah, but it didn't. It opposes everything that Yah uh, says in his word. So I'm going to get ready to do some more reading here. I want to go back to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11. It says, And for this cause, Yahuwah shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. A strong delusion. We have become so delusional, thinking one way, uh, thinking this way, but it's no, it's not even accurate. It's not even uh, scripturally, scripturally accurate, and we have been totally and absolutely deceived. Uh, the Bible said in John 5, 42, 43, and 44, but I know you that you have not the love of Yahuwah in you. I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can you believe which uh, believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that come from Yahuwah only? Now, he says, another one's going to come that's not going to come in my name, but he's going to come, not in the Father's name, but in someone else's name, and him you will believe. But if Yahushua said, but if I come and tell you who I am and show you, pinpoint to you that I am the truth, the way in the life, you won't believe me. So we're going to get in here tonight and find out a few things here and show you where I was telling you earlier 
how there's a lot of opposition against you who is truth uh, uh, in the Christian faith. There's a lot of opposition uh, in the Christian faith that opposes everything that Yahuwah says. And I'm going to show them to you now. Everything that Yahuwah said will bring him honor. They take his name in vain. That's not bringing him honor. Instead of calling him Yahuwah by his name, they call him Lord. Instead of calling his son Yahushua, they call him Jesus. And the Ruach HaKadosh, they call him Holy Ghost. They call a man father, which is the Pope. They take away or add to his uh, Sefer book. He said, don't take away, don't add to my book. I'm going to deal with you if you do. They don't keep the Torah. They don't keep the law. They don't obey or keep the commandments. They don't keep any feast days. They worship Baal, Gad, Moloch, and worship on Sunday. You see this little uh, emblem right here where it's talking about how on the 25th of December, what do most people worship on that day? Christmas, Christmas. With the fact they glorify Nimrod and Moloch and Baal. We're going to get into that a little deeper later on too. So just listen to this. Let me finish up. Uh, they marry other nations. They serve other Elohim. They perform and celebrate pagan celebrations. They eat unclean food. They eat bloody meats. They don't honor or keep Shabbat, Sabbath. They are sun worshipers, sun deity, Baal worshipers. They touch his people and rebel against the command. Touch not my northern to do my prophets no harm. Talking about the Hebrew Israelites. They believe in the rapture uh, teaching. It will be only wilderness training. You go into the wilderness. That's what the book of Ezekiel says. They don't believe that Yahuwah Elohim is one. They don't believe that Northeast uh, Kabbalah, Africa is his, Yahuwah's, and his people's land. They call it the Middle East. They don't accept that Hebrew Israelite is not a religion, but it's a nationality. Uh, they call it religion, but it's a nationality. They preach and teach another Messiah gospel. They teach replacement theology, Christianity over Yasharel. And according to the scripture, the Hebrew Israelites cannot be replaced with any religion. There's no letter J in Hebrew. Many don't believe that the Messiah is a Hebrew Israelite. Instead, they believe the lies are continue to promote uh, white Jesus over Yahushua HaMashiach, which is a Hebrew Israelite, a Negro. They don't believe that Yahushua still loves his people, the Hebrew Israelite. Look at all those things they oppose. Everything that Yah loves, they oppose. So how can it be of Yah? It is a lie. Nothing but a lie made up by man to trick us. You ever, you ever notice the Hebrew Bible? The Hebrew Israelite Bible is our history book. It's where our lineage is found, our heritage, our customs, our culture, uh, uh, the Torah keeping. Uh, it, it keeps us in, uh, in the, what we call the law. So it's our book, but they have put themselves, personified themselves in our book, took over, put themselves the head of us, made them put themselves over us and gave us all this mess, took the Most High's name out over 7,000 times, gave us Lord, which means Baal. That means we've been in Baal worship all these years. Sunday, Baal worship all these years. Sunday, sun God. Baal, Moloch, everything. They got us, they got us doing everything that's opposing y'all. Now watch this right here. Christianity does not adhere to and will blatantly perform that which y'all opposes. Continue to oppose everything that y'all say. Here's another little section. I, I gave you some up front. Here's some more that they will oppose. They will go ahead and conduct Easter, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, church services. They will even have fall festivals in the church. Talking about Halloween. They, they're dressing up like biblical characters. That's straight up Halloween. Satanic. Uh, they will put Christianity over Hebrew Israelite. They even added a letter J. Called a Messiah name of J. There is no letter J in Hebrew. His name is not Jehovah. It is not Jesus. They got missionaries they send around the world to preach another another besura, another gospel, which is not the truth. They preach about a white Messiah, which is false, erroneous, out of order. Christianity is opposed to Yahuwah. They even hate Yah. They hate his people. They stole us and scattered us all over the world and put in our place imposters over in the land to take our place. They are asking now the European Jews, Genesis uh, 10, 1 through 5, it tells you who they are. They are Gentiles. They have been put in our place and they are calling them Jews because they can't be called Hebrews because they said themselves in their uh, almanac in 1980 that they cannot call themselves Israelites. But that's why they call themselves Israelis because they cannot say Israelite. They will not say Israelite. That right there shows you that they're not biblical. So we see how Yah is trying to show us some things. Here's a great prime example, the Council of Nicaea. Created the name Jesus Christ, created Christianity. 
You just have to see it and study it for yourself. They did it themselves. They created Christianity. Christianity is a creation of man. The Catholic Church, 325, they created it. See, they created Christianity and gave us that name, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I like what this man said. He says, Daddy called him Yahushua. I'm going to call him Yahushua. Straight up. That's where it is, baby. So is Christianity a part of the strong delusion? Yes. You see, I told you Nimrod started everything. He and his mother, all religions are based off of the pattern of Nimrod, his mama, and Tammuz. That's how it flows. That's how it operates. Man-made religions. And so they took a Hebrew book written by Hebrew people who are the people that the book is talking about and referring to. It is a Hebrew Israelite history book. They took it and imposed themselves into it. You got to remember that the apostles and the uh, Mashiach were, were Hebrew Israelites. I like this meme here. The greatest virus ever created by man. That's look, that's the greatest virus. And guess who he is, ladies and, gen ladies and gentlemen, just watching this? That is the Antichrist right in front of your face. That's the Antichrist right there. He's coming back. He's going to demonstrate a lot of things. going to have a lot of people fooled. We were warned that Satan would have an acting job. 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen for Satan himself will masquerade as a messenger of light. He is his mask. Christianity claims Jesus freed from the freedom from the law, making them lawless like Satan. Follow Yahushua Mashiach. He taught us to keep the law. Here's some names: the Lord equals Baal, the Lord God Baal God, the Lord Jesus Baal Jesus, the Lord Jehovah Baal Jehovah, the Lord Allah Baal Allah, the Lord uh, Krishna Baal Krishna. Baal be Azabal, ha Satan. Ha Satan, Satan is the Lord Baal. There's a scripture. How long will this continue in the hearts of these lying prophets who prophesy the delusion of their own minds? They think the dreams they tell one another will make my people forget my name, just as their ancestors forgot my name through what? Baal, the Lord Jesus worship. Jeremiah 23, 26, and 27. Here's another one. And in that day declares Yahuwah. Uh, you will call me my husband Isha, and no longer will you call me the Lord. For I will remove the name of Baals from your, her mouth, and they shall uh, no more be remembered by their names. That's Hosea 2, 7, 16 through 17. So you see, y'all said, you don't even want that name, Lord. Don't be calling me no Lord. We don't even, we haven't even studied those who kneel before this image deliberately worship Satan. Look at this image. That's that uh, 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 goat. Those who kneel before this image ignorantly worship Satan. Baphomet. Satan has many names. And one of them is Jesus. That's one of his names. That name never transliterates to a Hebrew name, Yahushua. They made that up trying to trick us, trying to get us off course. His name would never be Jesus. His name is Yahushua Hamashiach, the son of the living Yah. The star of Moloch right there on the uh, Catholic priest's head, which represents Baal, Saturn, Nimrod, during the ancient Babylonian era, these names were worshipped and invoked as one God known as Lucifer, to which innocent children, kids, were sacrificed. It is still happening to this day, and Vatican has passed on this deception, repackaging Christianity in the form of what? Paganism. Christianity operates in paganism. The Pope is not similar, uh, simply the representative of Jesus Christ. On the contrary, he is Jesus Christ himself under the veil of the flesh. Pope Pius X. So he said uh, the Pope is Jesus Christ. Well, that's for their religion. That's what they believe. He's not Yahushua HaMashiach. Even Satan changed himself to look as an angel light. He would never be Yahushua HaMashiach. I don't care what they do. They can keep Jesus Christ. They can keep that name. That's the name they made up. They got us thinking that Jesus Christ is some type of deity when it's something that's made up and blasphemous. It's satanic. Look at the horns on this wall. I didn't do that. Look at this. Showed you who these jokers are. The shadows told on them. They satanic. Hallelujah. If the cross was a right to symbol, then why would a Luciferian wear it? Ain't that the truth? Why would he wear it? Let's go on down a little bit. The Sabbath day, who rests have you in it? Yahuwah's or the Sabbath day worship or Constantine, the first day Sunday worship. Hello. He got you, got us, had us all worshiping on Sunday, the first day of the week. Shabbat is on the Sabbath. Now listen at this right here. Sunday would never be the Sabbath day. Believe that. I don't care what you think. I don't care what scripture you quote. It will never be the Sabbath day. Never. Prove it. Malachi 3 and 6 say, For I am Yahuwah, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. He said in Exodus 20 and 8, Remember the day of Shabbat to keep it holy. Look at that. Remember that day. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. 
he's not changing his day for folks because folks want his day changed because they feel like that day they didn't got stuck on Sunday. No, the deal is once you see that Sunday is not that day, many of these, many of these pastors will stay there just to keep so the people won't leave them so they can keep their money. No, you got to be willing to give up everything to serve y'all. Give it all up. I did it. Another Maury, a uh, friend of mine, Apostle Maury Daryl Thomas, he did it. We gave up everything just to serve y'all. Not that we deep, we better than anyone, but y'all put that call in our life to leave that Sunday worship and people left. We were down to nothing. Lost money and everything, lost people and everything, but I'm still here. Now listen, the word Sabbath occurs 116 verses in the King James Bible version. It occurs 61 times in the Tanakh Hebrew Scriptures Old Testament. 55 times in the Brit uh, Covenant Hall of Shah, uh, what we call the Renewed New Testament. Total 116 times the Sabbath day never ended. So here's a picture of this guy. We're going to show you who y'all been calling Jesus. Stop worshiping my portrait. My name was Cesare Borger. I was the son of Pope Alexander VI who forced my image on the church. My father's real name was... Father's real name was Rodrigo Bozier. He was a gangster, warmonger, greedy, orgy-loving dictator who being used my portrait, began using my portrait in 1490 to claim he was God. So if this image been out there all these years and we've been thinking this is uh, the most high son, we have been deceived. Now that the deception is exposed, we see that this has been a lie. We know that this is the Antichrist. This is the Anti-Mashiach. This is not Hebrew, uh, Hebrew uh, Savior, uh, uh, Hebrew Deliverer, or the one that gave his life, that shed his blood. This is not him. This is a counterfeit. This is the Anti. They call him Jesus Christ. Listen to the wisdom of Sol uh, Solomon, 14, 15 through 16. For my father afflicted with untimely mourning when he had made an image of his child soon taken away, now honor him as a god, which was then a dead man, and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. Thus, in the process of time, an ungodly custom grow strong was kept as a law, and graven images were worshipped by the commandment of the king. Now look at that. That boy died at 31 years old, the false image of what we call the Christ, which is the Hamashiach. Uh, no, I don't call it Christ. I call him the Hamashiach. So this father had that son worship, and many thought this was the Messiah. It was a false image came from the Catholic Church. They took over the whole Bible and making you think the Bible was Roman Catholic. I like this uh, meme here. If I knock on your door, would you answer me? Nope. His head and his hair were, uh, were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like under brass, as if they burn in the furnace. Revelation 1 to 14, I ain't letting you in. That's what I'm talking about. So the deal is, we've been tricked and duped. We might as well accept it. Might as well confess that we were off and we were wrong and repent and get up and go on and start serving the, the Hebrew Messiah. Examine yourself to see whether you are in the faith. A top list of things Messiah never did. Went to church on Sunday because church is the word circle, which means witchcraft. Going in the circle. Uh, celebrate his birthday on the 25th. Ate his ham sandwiches, disobeyed the Torah. Taught others to disobey Torah. Answer to the name of Jesus. That wasn't his name. Replaced Israel with the church, started a new religion, Christianity, instructed us to observe Easter, told us to not follow his example. Let's see. No. You find out if you're not. Look at this. Look at that list. That list tells you everything. Messiah never ate a ham sandwich. He never went against Yah's Torah. He taught from the Torah. He never replaced Israel, Yashorel, with the church. That came from the Catholic Church. They called themselves church, which means circa, witchcraft. I told you this is a serious warfare, man. This thing, when your eyes are open, you can see the light of the scriptures, the truth of the scriptures. You can't go back to Christianity. The Messiah, Yahushua HaMashiach, never came on the earth to start Christianity. His followers were called Messianics, Messiah's people, Nazareans, not Christians. Are you seeing that? That came from Catholicism. He never instructed us to observe Easter, which is a pagan ritual uh, uh, dealing with the goddess of Istar, with all the breasts. Talking about there's a chicken and a, a rabbit having an egg, a, a chicken egg, coming out of the water, rolling up on the land. Goddess out there hunting Easter eggs, sitting up all night long, painting Easter eggs. I used to be so mad as a kid. 
painting all them Easter eggs. That stuff used to get on my nerves. And I got popped inside the head a lot of times. And the first thing they think, we doing this for the Lord. No, we wasn't. We were doing that stuff for Lucifer. <laughs> I'm telling you, we just didn't know it. Got us up at sunrise service. But you stand up at 2 in the morning learning your Christmas poem. I mean, excuse me, your Easter poem. I'm getting a little fired up here. Your Easter poem, it was all tore up. Boy, I'll tell you right now. We were tricked, man. We've been due, man. That slave master them tricked us to keep us under their control. Second Peter 2, and, uh, 2, look what it says. And many shall follow their false teachers, prophets, pernicious, wicked, deadly ways, by reason of whom the way of truth, Torah, the Torah law, shall be evil spoken of. Don't they speak evil of Torah? Don't they? And they keeping that law. They all they all awful. The, the law is done away with. You better watch out for them jokers right there. The Bible tells you who they are. They wicked. This right here shows you who the Christian pastors are. No argument needed. When it reads and studied correctly, the Bible itself debunks Christianity. Her priests have done violence to my teaching, and they profane my set-apart set matters. They have not distinguished them between the set-apart and the profane, nor have they made known the difference between the unclean and the clean. And they have hidden their eyes from my Shabbats, and I am profane in their midst. Yes, that is the absolute truth. Ezekiel 22 and 26 tells you that. Many Christian preachers are gifted motivational speakers and skilled charismatic performers. Very few keep the commandments and preach the authentic gospel. I was preaching that way in Christianity, telling them about that stuff. I was coming against a lot of them preachers. They didn't like me. I used to call them motivational speakers. They weren't preaching the truth. A bunch of hype. Here's a good example. Next time someone wants to tell you that Christianity and Catholicism are not the same, show them this. We are one and the same. The mother of harlots is the Catholic Church. And we follow them. I like what somebody wrote right here. They said, what in the name of Snap, Crackle, and Pop, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Minnie, Moe, and Jack, what the is going on with the black church? I know that's right, but I like this scripture, Matthew 14 and 15. Let them alone. Yahushua showed me that one day. They be blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Look at the key words. Let them alone. Stop chasing them down. Give them the truth. After you give it to them, keep moving. Lead them alone. Let the blind lead the blind. They all going to fall into a ditch. If you don't believe me, if you think I'm uh, walking in a bunch of lies, I'm off now. Don't believe what I post, but research what I post. Research what I put out of my iMovies. Re research it. Go look for it yourself. I did. When I, when I start hearing people tell me about this truth, I wanted to know. Look at how this deception started this Christianity. They went over there and bought all that stuff. Them old uh, missionaries, them old fake jokers. Over there preaching another gospel, giving us that white statue, got us worshiping the uh, Mary and that white Jesus, got us bound, got us tricked, got us dued. Slavery destroyed us, religion divided us, ignorance controls us, and the truth scares us. We don't want to hear the truth. We run from that truth. When that truth comes, many of our people run from it. They hate to hear because it it's going to mess up that delusion. But thus said Yahuwah to Sibio, this is Zechariah 2 and 8, After the glory has he sent me unto the nations, which spoil you. For he that touch you toucheth the apple of his eye. There's many touching y'all's people. Here's uh, Psalm 83 and 2, talks about how the enemy, they got together, in a uh, uh, confederate together, got crafty counsel, uh, thinking about uh, destroying y'all's people, wanted to get a council together to destroy y'all's people. So there'll be no more a nation. All them nations got together. Go look at the nations written in there. You'll see them and you, you can uh, break them down. But these nations got together wanting to destroy y'all's people that will be no more. And guess what? It did take place during the transatlantic slave trade. They got us, took us away from our land. Some of our people were still left over in the land. But a majority of us got on that sla the slave ships. We were dropped off and scattered all over the world. Europe. Uh, 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 South America, North America. We just start uh, uh, all over the world. We just sent out there. And what they did, they put uh, uh, the European people in our place. Asking all the Jews and said they were the chosen people. They took our place. That, uh, and, and I like, I got something coming up right now that's going to expose and show that these people were lying. They put people over there and made it the state of Israel. It's not the nation of Israel which we are the nation, and we're going back to our, our, our land when y'all come and get us. He's coming back, I'm telling you now. But they came together and said, let's wipe them out. They hate us, y'all. 
These nations hate us. They consulted together with one consent. All the nations, they are confederate against us. Watch this. And they are still a confederate against us today. They don't like us. And I always tell my wife this. I said, if they like us, if they're so concerned about us, won't they just come out and tell us the truth that they lied? Won't they come out and tell us that white Jesus ain't real? Won't they come and tell us that they stole stuff from us? Won't they come out and tell the truth that they did us wrong and abused and, and, and destroyed us as a people? Won't they come out and tell us that we need to go back to our land and the people that's over there are fake? You know why they're not going to tell you that? It'll undo all of that deception, all of that work they put out to keep themselves ahead of us, to keep get all that money, to keep all that money, to keep themselves on top of us. They will not dare tell us that. That's why I, that lets me know they are our enemies still on the day. And the Bible tells us not to trust our enemies. I can't do it. You can't trust them. This is why Yahushua said, I am sent, not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Yahshua. And, and those foreigners that choose and repent and acknowledge that we are people that want to come along with us and keep the Torah, they can come along as well. I also put up here for you, I went back and put in the Psalms, 83 Confederate nations that came against us. Look at those names. And one of them is Ashkenaz, the imposter Jews. Yahshua, repent. We as a people of Israelites uh, need to truly repent, wake up. And allow y'all to uh, uh, help us because in the land of our captivity, we have been in a fight and we're going to continue to fight. Uh, it, it, isn't it evident that they, they hate us? Isn't it evident that they don't like us? That they want to keep us down? Only y'all is going to be able to deliver us from this place. Because what our ancestors did, they rebelled against y'all. And here we are today going through all this suffering, all this trouble. But uh, thanks be to y'all which gives us a victory through Yahushua HaMashiach. We are getting out of this place at the right moment and the right time. We got to cry out to Yah in the land of this captivity and ask him to come and deliver us from these people. Hallelujah. 400 years is a long time. We've been going through a long time. We need y'all to help us. We need y'all to get us out of here. But be encouraged. Stand strong. Uh, Yah is going to get us out of here. He's going to see us through. I'm, I guarantee you that. He's going to see us through. We have to trust y'all in this, and we have to believe y'all in this, uh, the time frame that we're in. It's a crazy time, uh, chaotic time, uh, nation going up against nation, kingdom against kingdom, uh, people changing their, uh, their, their gender, people uh, lying. Is that even at the very end, these Gentiles are finally going to wake up and say, we have inherited lies. Because everything I had never is built on a bunch of lies, and this stuff is in, in a shaking mode. Y'all say he's going to shake the nations. He said he's going to shake them, and he's shaking right now. I'm telling you, our awakening is staying up the pot. Our awakening, our awakening is shaking up everything, and it's driving them crazy. I, I stated that before. I'm saying it again. It's driving them crazy. They don't know what to do. That's why they're going all out with every type of plan and scheme to get us uh, 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 to destroy us. They want to take us out, but y'all is not going to let that happen. Can't be done. This is how we got in Christianity, that strong delusion. We, we realizing that Jesus was the name of the slave ship captained by Sir John Hopkins in 1564 by appointment of the Queen, Queen of England. This is the first slave ship that came to get our people. It was named Jesus. How did we become Christians today? At first, the city of Hebrews were like standing on the shore. Yahuwah is our savior. Christianity, Jesus is their savior. You see that? Yahuwah shall bring you back to Egypt again in ships by way which I said to you, you are never to see it again. The last captivity, that's where we are now. And there you shall be sold to your enemies as male and female slaves, but no one will buy or redeem you or save you. Deuteronomy 28 and 68, that's talking about us. You don't need a slave ship to go to Egypt right there in Africa. It's right next door to Israel. So we see here again, it says, and you shall... And you, even yourself, thou shalt uh, shall discontinue from your heritage that I gave you. And I will cause you to serve your enemies in the land which you know not. Y'all said he's going to put us in a land that we knew not. We didn't know this land. And that we were going to serve our enemies. Notice y'all keep calling them our enemies. So I believe what the Bible says. If they are enemies, they, they must be our enemies. It's too many things pointing towards them being our enemies. Even though we got a little leeway, a little pass here, a little pass there. We're still up under the thumb of these people, and they're not trying to let us up. They'll give you a little something here, 
love pat on the back here. I love something over here. The truth is the truth. You just can't lie. We're in a major, we're in a major battle. Yahshua Real, we gotta keep serving y'all with everything we got. We gotta come together as a nation. We gotta come together as a people. We gotta love our sisters, love our brothers, and and pray for one another. Pray for each other as a nation. We are a nation. We got to come together. We gotta repent and get up and do right. Things are not gonna uh, get easy. It's not it's gonna get a little more difficult. A lot more difficult, not a little more, but a lot more difficult in some areas. But if we just keep seeking y'all, y'all will come through for us every time. He said he's going to deliver us during the hour of this tribulation that's coming up on the earth. He said he's going to deliver us from it. So I'm still believing and trusting y'all to get us up out of this place. I know he is. I'm not sitting up there uh, hoop dreaming, uh, just hoping. No, I know it's to be true. The scripture said that he was going to come and deliver his people. I'm going to show you some more interesting uh, uh, parts here that's going to explain to you that we as Yah's people are his people and how we got caught up and how we got trapped into Christianity and how we've been in Christianity for all these years. Our brains, have been, we have been so brainwashed, so messed up in our minds, so messed up in our, head, in our heads. We don't even think he bred. We think European now. We call ourselves negro -peans. That's what it is. We act just like Europeans when we need to get back to thinking he bred. Remember the children of Israel, Deuteronomy 28 and 26, uh, 68. I just read that to you. How we were going to go in slavery. They got a lot of us when we were, uh, uh, a lot of our people when we were young. Brought us over here easier to brainwash. Because some of the older ones really rebelled. They fought back. And they didn't like them. But a lot of the young ones, they kept bringing a lot of young ones, younger ones. If you look at the slave manifest, you'll see the age. Ages like 10, 15, 12. 11, you may have a 25-year-old on that list. Look at some of the slave manifests. They got a bunch of young ones so they can control, manipulate, get us uh, to adhere to their mandate and get us turned over into Christianity so they can trick us into worshiping who they worship. Think about it. Took our Bible. Wouldn't let us read our own Bible, our own history book. Took out pages. They call it the slave Bible. That's what a lot of historians call it because... They took out a lot of stuff. They stripped a lot of stuff, cut out a lot of stuff, and they gave us a partial book to read when they finally let us read because they didn't want us to see certain things. Uh, like I said, it would have triggered uh, us and let us know this is our book and uh, this is who we are. They, they went in and changed it, took the names of Yah out, took the name of his son, took out who we were, put other people, put in different pictures when they had pictures in different Bibles, put different pictures up in these church buildings with the steeple on top, which is an obelisk, uh, 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 which is a Egyptian um, penis sticking up towards y'all. That's what that is, an obelisk. They, they hate y'all, they despise y'all, and they despise us. We're in a warfare. I know y'all hear me say it all the time, but we are in an absolute warfare. And we get ready to go into a few more memes here. I'm telling you, I'm about to show you some stuff to expose who the Antichrist is. Jesus Christ is not anyone's Messiah. He's only the so-called Messiah of those Catholics and those people that operate in Christianity. But he's not the Messiah of the Hebrew Israelite or the true Messiah of the world. The true Messiah of the world name is Yahushua Hamashiach, the son of the living Yah. You have to understand, we went through a lot of things during slavery. They beat us into Christianity. That's what a lot of our people don't understand. We were beaten into Christianity. We were made to get into Christianity and serve uh, uh, them faithfully. When they got us in, they made us think that heaven was all white folks. Made us think that everything pure was white. We were tore up. We were cursed. Gave us the bottom of the food. Gave us shacks to live in. They ate the stuff that we created and gave us the, the worst parts of everything. The police was created to catch runaway slaves. That's why it was created. That's why they act towards us the way they do. That's why they were acting the way they are. It's a slave patrol. A lot of people didn't know that. That's what they were. They protect, yeah, the citizens, but they didn't consider us citizens, or even in the Constitution. We're not even considered to be human all the way. And it's still in that Constitution. That's what I'm telling you. So how can people like that say, Oh, yeah, we love y'all. Oh, y'all some good people. Well, change stuff if you so-called if you so-called love us, if you so-called care about us. Start fixing that stuff. Go in and start ripping that stuff out and start fixing it. Realize that we've been lied to. It's not going to happen. 
only time that that stuff is never going to change. Our only way of escape is when Yahuwah come back to get us. He even said in Deuteronomy 28 and 32, look at this meme, thy son and thy daughter shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. Isn't that what happened to us? So Deuteronomy 28, chapter 15 through 6, 8, is talking about only one group of people, the Hebrew Israelites, No one, no, not another group on this planet fit those curses, fit those uh, go-throughs, fit those troubles, no one else but us. That is us. And all that stuff, they were utilizing to keep us broken, to keep us bent down serving them. I'm going to show you some more means. Get us locked into Christianity. Notice, how can the slave master and the ser a slave serve the same Elohim? That don't make no sense. One of them crying out to be delivered. One of them crying out, make them a good slave. We crying out to be, get us out of here. They said, no, I'll make them a good slave. So here's Deuteronomy 28, 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, a byword among all nations, whether Yahuwah shall lead thee. Look at the different name. Nigger, coon, colored, slave. That's what they call us. It. It's all in the Bible. Nobody else fit that. And here you see here they were breaking a buck, which is a strong Hebrew man. They would call the other slave masters over to have sex with this man in front of his wife, in front of his children, to break him, to make him weak, so he wouldn't be strong anymore. A bunch of wicked, no good folks doing that to our people. And y'all going to get them for it. The Bible said they're going to have chains about their necks. Y'all said when the, when the chains came off our necks, that's when we were broken. That's in Deuteronomy 28. He said, when that chain finally came off our neck, we were broken. That's when uh, Abraham Lincoln signed that Emancipation Proclamation. They knew. They studied everything. They put it in order. Remember, they dealt with a lot of witchcraft, a lot of crazy stuff. And they knew the right time to let us out of those chains. Because they knew then we wouldn't run away. We were broken. Jeremiah 50 and 33 says, Thus said Yahuwah the Sivio, the children of Yasharal, and the children of Yehuda were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. There it is there. Right there in your face. Their Redeemer is strong. Yahuwah Tosivio is his name. He shall thoroughly plead beginning to the end. Their cause that he may give rest beginning to the end to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babel. We are in Babel. He's going to disquiet Babel. He's going to deal with Babel. Uh, we are in Babylon. He's going to get us out of Babylon. That's why he's telling us to come out of those churches. We are under, we are under the, 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 uh, the, the spells and the sorcery of a Babylon witchcraft and mysticism that's over our minds. Got us serving a white Messiah that don't even match the Bible. You can look at the Bible and see his hair like wool and we still stay in that stuff. We need to wake up and come out of Babylon. Get out of there now. Run now. Run. Get out of that place. I'm telling you, when you do, you're going to feel free. You'll feel a whole lot better. And you won't be trapped by all that stuff. I know a lot of Christian people that I know, a lot of Christian people that I serve with, a lot of people I preach uh, in their churches over the years. I know they think I'm crazy now. I know they think I'm off, but I don't care. I can care less what they think. It don't matter. My soul has been awakened. My mind, my will, and emotions have been awakened unto the ways of Yah, and I'm going to serve him. No matter what they think. Look at 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. In whom the Elohim of this world has blinded the mind of them which believe not. Look at that. They got Jesus saved. But look who in the church. They call themselves good Christian people. That's what they call themselves. Good Christian. Look what they got on the robes and the hood. Them the same ones. That during uh, the different picnics they have in the church. Picnics means pick a nigga. That's what that meant. They were having celebrations outside and they would go hang us. And burn us. And do all kind of stuff to us. But they called themselves Christians. And we were right in the same buildings they're in. How can we serve the same Elohim? We can't. We can't serve the same Elohim. No. Well, I told you before, the slave owner would say, I pray that he's a good slave. We would be praying, get us away from these folks. We can't stand these heathens. Deliver us from them. So these heathens are right there in the so-called churches. Jesus saves on the top. No, he don't. He, don't, he can't save nothing. This is a Catholic ritual called Confratus, done around Easter time in the name of Jesus. And you say that KKK is related to Christianity. You are a liar. Wow. Isn't that amazing?
All of it is connected together. That's a Catholic ritual. Look at the KKK uniforms. The Ku Klux Klan right there in Catholicism. Catholicism and Christianity are one and the same. When you say, when people say I'm a Christian, a lot of times most of them are Catholics. Here's a befitting scripture right here. I, I wrote this down. I put this on Facebook during that Breonna Taylor case. It says Zechariah 11 and 5. Whose possessors slay them. That's what they do. They slay us. They put our possessors and hold themselves not guilty. Ain't that what they do? And they that sell them say, Blessed be Yahuwah, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Even their own shepherds don't care. I mean, that's why the Indians say the, that most whites have wet a coat. That means they be, they be doing some evil stuff and turn right around and act like you're supposed to accept it. Like they stole the Indians' land and turn around and say, Look, you should have just gave it to them. We wouldn't have shot you. We want to do that stuff to you. It'd have been easy and simpler if you just gave it to us. That's why the Indians say they got wet and cold. They some crazy people. So that's that's what the Indians said. And I can see it because when you sit up there and say that you're not guilty for killing someone and you destroy someone, that's some wild stuff. And it's going on in this land over and over again. That's why their punishment is going to be deep. They're going to be devastated by this punishment. Y'all is coming after them hard for the wickedness and the atrocities done to the children of Yasharel. And many of them don't want to hear this truth. They want to skip by this part. No, this part can't be skipped by. It has to be told because you put us up in witchcraft. You put us off in uh, Christianity and tricked us into bowing down and worshiping idols. You know Hebrew Israelites not supposed to be worshiping idols. You, had a, you got us doing idol worship. You got us... Uh, Bound down to a Mary, bound down to a fake, a uh, false image uh, of that fake Jesus. Uh, the Bible tells us in Exodus over there 20, it said, You shall not make unto you any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. And what they have us doing, you shall not bow down yourself to them, nor serve them, for I am Yahuwah Eloheka, am jealous El. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Now you see that? Y'all say, I'm on deal. And you got us doing all these things against you. Who are you? know what we believe in. See, they know what you believe in. They know what we, uh, what we, uh, who we are. That's why they took our Bible. They be throwing it back in our faith. They be preaching to us. They act like we don't know the scriptures because they took our book, dissected it and studied it. Kept us in bondage so long. Didn't want us to read so they can get ahead of us. And they turned right back around. Now they preaching it to us as though we can't see. This is what they used to do. Look at them out there smiling, having a picnic, smiling. I mean, it didn't even bother them. Two young Hebrew men hanging in a tree. We were robbed of our name, robbed of our language, but this is the people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in the holes, and they are in hidden prison houses. Ain't they where they got us? They are for a prey and none deliver for a spoil and none say restore. We lost our religion, our culture, and our Elohim. Because the Catholic priests and these missionaries of these different religions came over and indoctrinated us and messed us up to make us think they knew the Bible over there. We the people that know the Bible. The word was given to us. It was not given to the heathens. They took our book and make it, then turn around and make everybody think that they were over us, that they knew the Bible more than us. No, you're not the one that was given the word. The word was not given to no one but us. Here's a whipping post they used to use to beat us into Christianity. They beat us. Had our spears broken so we'll confess our love for Jesus Christ. When they were beaten to a pulp, it was only in the best interest to teach their children to love Christ as well. In fear of them receiving the same treatment, this is indoctrination at its finest. We were indoctrinated. We were beat into serving white Jesus. So don't tell me that he's my Savior because he's not my Savior. No, he's not. The Bible says, let me show you, in Romans 9 and 1, I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Ruach Hakadesh, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I could wish that myself were a curse for Hamashiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, watch this, to whom pertaining the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the Torah, the service of Yahuwah and promises, who are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came, who is over all Yahuwah, Blessed forever, I mean. So that tells me uh, nobody else was given the word. He said he gave it to Jacob. He didn't give it to nobody else. He didn't give no word to no other nation. Matter of fact, all the other nations didn't even have an Elohim. 
They didn't even have an Elohim. That's why when we came over to them and started walking out uh, this Christianity, uh, we began to uh, bow down to a cross. That's a part of their culture. That's part of who they serve. And they got us bowing down singing about the cross. They got us bowing. Even in, uh, when they come out to the Muslim religion, the Bible said we were going to serve a God of wood and stone. Christianity and the Muslim religion. I talked about a little bit of that last week. So they got us into that. They indoctrinated us so bad, the Hebrew Israelites, and neither one of those religions was how we as Yah's people worship. We are Hebrew Israelite. We had a way we worship. We had a way we served Yah. It is all written out for us. He gave us the word and they took our stuff and beat us down uh, into serving their so-called Elohim. And I thank Yah for waking us up. Look how that happened. I like, I like that meme that said, how did that happen? Look at that. Because they indoctrinated us. Both of them got idol worshippers up there. Both of them got idols. You got the blacks carrying the white Mary. And you got the uh, uh, the, the Catholics, the whites carrying the black Madonna, which is Mary. You see that? That is crazy, man. I'm telling you. That's indoctrination right there. They know the Messiah is a Hebrew. They know he's black. That's why they carry him. Read Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 15, Hebrew Israelites captivity, Negroes scattered worldwide. Question many of you keep asking, what are we doing wrong? Why do these people hate us so much? The Most High Yahuwah is trying to wake us up as a people. We will never be equal in the land of our captivity. What we need to do is repent and return to Yahuwah and start keeping his Torah, statutes, and commandments. That's the reason they're coming against us harder and harder. He's waking us up. He's pushing us to wake up. He's pushing us. The harder the whooping, the quicker you may wake up. I believe, look, when I grew up, when mom and them got me real good, oh, I woke up. I ain't have no more problems. I was I was awake. I did everything they told me to do. Why? Because my awakening took place with mama's belt and daddy's belt. I was up. And so what y'all's doing, he's allowing these heathens to whoop us at the end real good and to push us into his arms. Wake up, Yasharel. Wake up. Wake up, wake up. You got to wake up and see the truth. No, we can't We can't serve Jesus Christ. We are Hebrew Israelites. We serve Yahusha, Hama, Shiach, Yahuwah, his son. If a Hebrew Israelite Negro wake up to their true identity, they will never see the Bible as they did before. You'll never see the Bible the same. Once you wake up to the truth of the, uh, of the knowledge of who you are as your people, you won't be the same. You, you can't be the same. I'm telling you, I'm not the same. When they hit me, man, I was like a little kid in the candy store. At the same time, I was going through different phases of uh, anxiety, panic attacks, because I didn't know what was going on. I said, I know this is true. I see it in the book. I'm reading it, and it's, it's opposing Christianity every day. I know it's true. So when I, when I finally decided to say yes to y'all all the way, I haven't been the same, and I never will be the same. And I pray the same for you, that when you wake up, most of you that need to wake up. Hebrews are like sir, slaves in ancient Egypt. Clearly, they are black. If you sit on the wall, they'll tell you that they're white. You look at these movies, they got them white. They got the walls white. You seen a movie like that last night, Cleopatra White. That boy, that's a bunch of lies. Just a bunch of lies. We got to undo them lies. Here it is right here. The the king that was in uh, Egypt. I use this meme again because I want you to make this point. When he asked about peace in the Middle East, the late president of Egypt uh, Gamal Abdul Nasser stated the Jews will never be able to live here in peace because they left here black but came back white. What he's saying, the Hebrews that left, they left black. But they came back white. What he was saying was, how did that happen? Well, that Balfour Declaration that was signed, they got those people in there to, to open up the state of Israel to occupy that land and to say that they are Yah's people. And it's nothing but a lie, and the truth is being exposed more and more. It's happening. I'm so glad Yah is waking us up now. It's the time for restoration for Yahshua. He's going to redeem us fully. And these people are being exposed so much, they don't know what to do. And the awakening was hitting so strong in 2013, they were trying to come up with a plan and a way to lead the land because they knew we were waking up and it was hitting them. A lot of There's a lot of people over there, uh, the, the Jews that are over there, the apostles in the land, They'll tell you that they're not the people. We got we got one guy on our uh, friends list, a couple of them that are Jews that'll tell you, we're not the people. You guys are the Hebrews. 
not us. And they just blatantly tell you straight up uh, who you are. Here's another one. The Jewish people, they they know they are Ashkenazi. They claim to be the children of Israel. Negroes, they think they Africans don't know they are the ch truly the children of Israel. They over there operating in our place, and we walking around, don't know nothing. We can't even see. We don't even act like a nation. We only act like family. We just oppose each other. We'll turn our nose up at each other. Crabs in the bucket. We'll hurt each other quickly. We'll, we'll hurt each other before we hurt one of the Europeans. That's sad. We'll hurt each other. We'll kill each other. I'm not saying they're walking around killing folks. I'm not promoting that. I'm saying, but we'll do it to each other before we do it to any other nation. And that's a sad thing. We are the Hebrew Israelites. I have to say it because someone may get on here and look at this and need to see this and hear this. You are Hebrew Israelites. That's who you are. You're the Israelites of the Bible. Here it is right here. It shows you another meme. Israelite Hebrews. And it shows you the Ashkenazi uh, Jews. Member of a Turkish people who occupied a large part of southern Russia from the 6th and 11th centuries who converted to Judaism in the 8th century through King Bulan. That's how they got in. They began to, they said, we want to find a religion to get into. They were going to either choose Christianity, uh, 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 Muslim, or Hebrew. They called they, they call what they call Judaism, which was the Hebrew religion, uh, and they chose to be Hebrews, or uh, act like Hebrews, because they're not Hebrews. Revelation 3 and 9, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, that's what y'all call to ask another Jews, will say they are Yehudim, Yehudim, which is Judah, Judah, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Now that's the second, the third chapter in the 29th verse, but it also says it in Revelation 2 and 9. It says, I know thy works and thy tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich and know the blasphemer of them which say they are Jews, which should be Hebrews, uh, Yehuda, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Y'all say these people are the synagogue of Satan. They worship Lucifer. They will tell you they worship Lucifer. And you got many people believing they serve God. No, it's Lucifer they worship. The snake worshipers. They worship the snake. They worship the Baphomet. That's who those people worship. But making you think that they are the chosen people of Yasharel. Y'all say they are of the synagogue of Satan. He said, I know their works, I know their tribulations, and I know their poverty. He said, but thou art rich. Y'all said, you ain't fooling about who the richest people on earth. It's the Jews. They are the richest people on earth. How do you think we, the Hebrew Israelites got over here on slave ships? It was Jewish slave ships that paid our way over here into these lands. They used their ships to get us over here. That's how we got over here, by Jewish ships. Slave ships. They got us over here so they can move in to our land. The Bible said that Japheth will be occupying the tents of Shem. He will be in us. We the Shemites. We the Hebrew Israelites. We the Shemitic people. They will be occupying our uh, place. They will be taking over while we are out of the land. The Bible said Israel, uh, Jerusalem would be trodden down by who? The Gentiles. <clears throat> the Gentiles, if you read Genesis 10, one through five, it explains who the Gentiles are. And the Ashkenazi Jews are Gentiles. They are European. They are Turkish people. Hallelujah. So it's right there in the Word. It's right there in the Bible telling you who these people are. But the deal is we have to want to accept it. We have to understand it and move on from there. I like this little meme I got up top when Jesus hid in Egypt. Here's another one. So there I was, the only white guy in Jerusalem because it's the truth. That whole place is Africa, El Kebalon. Hebrew people, black people. So we see, saints, that the truth is coming out. It's being revealed. I'm so happy. I want to read this next meme. I got to read it. I, I know many of you saw this before when I put it out on Facebook. Real talk, I must have more patience with my people. They are recovering from hundreds of years of mistreatment, genocide, miseducation, as well as misguiding. I all praise to the Most High. And I'm going to be patient. I have to be understanding and I know that uh, many of us are growing at different levels. I'm not impatient, but I do have to stick with what y'all has shown me to keep that solid foundation, to keep that base. I have to do it. Here's another one by Malcolm X. This is powerful. Sometimes the fruit falls from a tree, rolls so far away from its roots that it's no longer of the tree. 
The hard fall and the long journey bruises the fruit so much that it's totally changed. Changes it. It's the same way for some of our people. This is why some can't be awakened, regardless of how much truth you present to them. This journey has totally brainwashed them to such a degree that they are no longer of the original tree. That is so sad. That's sad. But you know what? Those of us that can hear y'all, wake up and continue to tell our people. Come out of Babylon. Come out of Babylon. We're not a part of Babylon the Great. Not because you are not part of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world on this account. The world hates you, and it does. Come out of Babylon and start living for y'all. Revelation 18, 1 through 4. And remember, if you haven't been awakened, it's because you are chosen to be awakened by the Creator to come out of the life based on lies, man-made doctrine, and deception. We don't have to be tricked in walking around in a delusion in witchcraft messed up in our minds because Yah has delivered and saved us from it. So be not afraid of sudden fear. This is Proverbs 3 and 25, neither of desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For Yahuwah shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. What a word of comfort. What a word of encouragement. Keep moving forth, Yahshua. Slowly but surely, more and more of our brothers and sisters are waking up from the religious coma. I'm telling you now, Christianity is a strong delusion. It's a stronghold. It keeps you bound. When you begin to tell people of it, they're so messed up in their minds, they can't even comprehend it. Here it is right here, dealing with the seven feasts. We're going back to our seven feasts, keeping the feasts. We don't want to uh, deal with no Easter Bunny, no Santa Claus. We'd rather do it Yah's way, biblical way. Yah's way, biblical way. And so when we get back out to the wilderness, guess what's going to happen? We're going to be in our encampments. We're going to serve Yah as in the days of old. We're going to serve him with everything we got because we will not be trapped again upon any delusion. Serving y'all in spirit and the truth. Shalom.